Virtual classrooms are all the rage right now. And I'm gonna show you and walk you through how to make your Bitmoji. <laughs> yes! That's awesome! The first thing you need is the Bitmoji app. You can see mine in the bottom right hand corner of my iPhone. In order to get this, you would just go to your app store, type in Bitmoji, and you'd be able to find it. Mine says update because I already have it. You would go ahead and install. Creating a Bitmoji is a lot of fun, but you gotta take a little bit of time. So the one suggestion that I have is to put a picture of yourself up on a computer screen, uh, take a selfie, and try to get as close as you can because, well, you're making a cartoon you. And the kids want to see it and be able to recognize that it is their teacher. So I'm going to go into the Bitmoji app that I have in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen. I'm going to open it up. And the first thing we have to do is we have to sign up with email. So I'm going to do that right now. It starts off by asking when you were born. So go ahead and put in your birthday. And then it needs an email address and a password to sign up. Okay, and now you're going to pick the sex of your Bitmoji. And you can start with a selfie if you wanted to. I'm going to skip that part, but this is a nice feature so it kind of will set it up for you and give you the best suggestions. But I want to go through step by step, so I'm going to skip it. So it starts off with skin tone, so I'm going to pick one. It's going to then go to hair color. Um, I have brown hair, so we'll try that. Hairstyle, kind of looks like that. And you can see how many different hairstyles there actually are. If you keep scrolling, they will keep loading. So find one that works for you, whether you are a male or a female. Hair treatment, if you want to put some streaks in your hair, you can scroll down and see the different colors that you could put in, but I don't have any color in my hair other than a little bit of gray, but I'm not going to put that in there because, well, I kind of want to stay young. Facial hair, I don't have any, so I don't have to worry about that, and I don't have to worry about hair color, but you can see with facial hair how many different options there are as well. And then once you pick one, you'd be able to pick the color of it. So eye shape, I'm going to stay with the standard eyes, eye size, I've got smaller eyes, so I'm going to go with that one. Eye spacing, that looks pretty good right there. Eye color is brown for me, but you can see again how many different colors you can choose from. Um, Alright, eyebrows. Let's see what's going to be the best. And, and what's great about this is you just kind of click through them and you can see the different sizes and what they look like. I'll go with those. Eyebrow color looks pretty good already. Um, all right, nose. And it's good. You can kind of play with it. They turn it to the side so you'd be able to find a nose that works for you. This is probably the feature that I think might take the longest. And then you can start to kind of accessorize. So if you have glasses, you could find a pair that might work for you. I wear contacts, so I'm not going to do that. So your jawline, you can go ahead and find one that works for you. That one kind of works for me, I think. Your face shape, plenty of different face sizes. I'm going to go with the standard. Mouth, I'm going to stay standard as well. Ears. I'm going to keep the ears pretty much the same. And then you got cheek lines. And there's a couple different features for this. All right, I'll go with that one. Forehead lines. I'm a little bit older now, so we can do that. Um, eye lines. Let's see. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Jeepers, I'm really starting to age. All right, now into the fun stuff. You can go ahead and pick headwear. Um, so this is great for changing it up, especially toward the end of the year, a little graduation cap. I know basketball season, when coaching, I'd probably go with something like that. But for right now, I'm going to leave it as nothing. And you can come back and change this anytime you want. And then you pick your body type. And there's six different body types that you can choose from. 
Uh, the standard first one looks pretty good for me. And then what's cool are outfits. And I'm going to scroll past this for just a second. Um, there are outfits already pre-made, but if you keep going, you can go ahead and get tops and bottoms and footwear and socks and customize it all yourself. There's jackets and sweatshirts, and then it will go into your closet, um, whatever you choose. But I think that if you go back to outfits, you can just pick an outfit that they already have for you. And what's really funny, if you keep scrolling down, you'll see a lot of casual, you'll see business casual, you'll see um, more active wear right there. But Nike and Adidas has actually signed on and created some, some outfits, which I think is hysterical. And this is the one that I usually pick. Put myself into a Nike hoodie. But if I wanted to go a little bit more casual, there's some black label stuff here. Um, you can see that we could suit up as well if we need to. Suit up! I'm going to keep it really fun right now. I'm going to keep my Nike sweatshirt on. And then I am, for the most part, done. So I'm going to now save my avatar. And that will also save my outfit. So it'll say set, your keyboard is set up. What that's going to do is that when you are typing a text message possibly to somebody, you'll have the option to go ahead and use your Bitmoji. What's also hysterical, if you look at the bottom, you can see that we have stickers. So these are things that come up automatically. You can see that you have your avatar, so you can go back and change anything if you wanted to do that. And so I'm going to X out of that because I don't want to change anything. Your fashion closet. Obviously, we could change those as well. I'm going to X out of that. Your keyboard is set up. If it's not set up, just hit the button to set it up, and I can show you what that looks like. And then merch is hysterical because there is actually Bitmoji merchandise that you can order for yourself. So I'm going to go into text messages just to show you what this would look like. And inside of my keyboard, you'll see at the very bottom left, the globe looking icon and now right now it says this is disabled so I've got to go to Bitmoji keyboards and turn on allow full access so I'm gonna open those settings I'm gonna find Bitmoji keyboards and I'm gonna allow full access and now if I go back to that message, you'll see when I hit that globe that everything comes up. And you can search for a Bitmoji. What's really good is if you just want to pose in a certain way, you type the word pose and you'll get a lot of different choices. In future videos, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Chrome extension and then how to get your Bitmoji into a virtual classroom.